Welcome back everybody. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to start to modify our car in the garage. In particular we're going to be uh, modifying the um, the suspension, the tyre, tyres and the uh, the engine. Okay, So um, this course is for beginners and uh, I'll give you a chance to do screenshots of the code as we go along. All right. Great, so I'm going to assume here that you have a uh, an AI car set up on a track. I've just got a little figure of eight, and uh, it successfully goes around it, okay? And here's a demonstration. This is our four x four vehicle going around uh, this uh, bumpy track, and I've set its max speed at 10 miles an hour so that it, we can see it going around, right? And we, we're interested in, in what's going on with the suspension and the wheels all right so great that works okay so let's have a look at what's happening down here basically we have um, we've got a couple of things happening let's have a look at the car itself well I've deleted everything from the standard assets AI car that I don't need and I've added a chassis what I call a chassis here and I've got a shell on the top all right so this is the shell or the body of the car okay you can turn that on and off and I'm going to turn it off for here so we have a look at it all right so let's just have a it's much easier to work on the card by just by looking at the chassis all right now especially when we're messing around with suspension so I've got here if we press play you can see that when you press play it it it, it becomes activated right that means that this bar along the middle the frame is raised up and the suspension arms are now pointing at the frame correctly and it looks realistic all right okay if we let that turn it off it goes back to its standard position good so what we're going to do today is we're, we're interested we're going to start at the, at the ends here and we're going to start with these wheels okay so what we're going to do is we're going to enable the player to by using sliders uh, change the forward and the rear grip of their tires okay that's the first thing all right so we're going to start with the grip now, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to set up. If we if we put our window tire on now, and we turn off these, just tidy things up a little bit. Okay, so we've got we've got a few things going on there. We've actually got front grip, rear grip, and we've got a width. And we're going to do the width in a different video, all right? But for today, we're doing front and rear grip. Okay. So, <coughs> how do we do that? Well, first of all, you need to go to your canvas and you need to make a slider. Okay, so I've made a window and in there I've put a slider and it's a front slider and I've got a slider for the rear. So, two sliders and the settings of the first, which is the front, the front grip, because here we can independently change how much grip's on the front to how much grip is on the rear. So, that's why we've got one slider for front and one for rear is I've set it to the value of 0.5 to 1.5 and the rear is 0.5 to 1.5 okay great so what we need to do here is we need to get these sliders to actually change change those the grip of the tires but first of all you need to know where the tire grip is so if you go to the wheel hubs on your car you can highlight and your forward grip is this one here forward friction stiffness and default is set at 1 Okay, so we're going to change this value through code. So when the player changes the grip using the slider, it will come through here and it will change this value. And also, we're going to allow that, allow that to be that value to be saved in player preferences, so it remembers the how we, how wide, um, how much grip the tyres have in the next game. Right, it's going to remember the player's preferences. Right, great. So first things first, yeah, create an empty game object and then we're going to attach this script called car setup to it. Okay, I'd like to take a screenshot of this. It's a big script and you could, you could, so take a, take a screenshot of that. those 
this one this one okay and I left this bit over here so as you can see that this is the car set up and this is where it's going to go over in the car manager okay now I like to build I like to put everything in one place and you know I've, I've made this huge script here it's over 300 lines long but it and it contains everything to do with my car setup all in one script that's just my preference you could actually break this up into smaller parts and you'll see that because we've made independent front and rear everything's pretty much doubled okay but it's all the same it's just doubled doubled one set for front one set for the rear okay and in these videos we're gonna slowly unlock all of these parts that are currently doubled out okay or kind of grayed out all right good so let's have a look at this quickly first right first of all we need to get set some wheel colliders so we've created these wheel colliders and call them wheel front left front right etc okay and we've got some game objects so we need to actually get these colliders into this script all right so here access access them through the script so where are so here as you can see over here this this bit correlates to this piece in the script okay and we've got a float front grip and the slider which we've put already made on the screen same here for the rear good in a wake here yeah, we're actually going to get the wheel colliders that uh, are on on our car right so once we've done that then we come in to start so here what we're going to do is first of all we're going to go to player prefs and we're going to see if if there's already a value for the grip in the front if it's a new if the people have just installed the game and and there's obviously not going to be a value in player press so it's going to come out as like zero so basically said if it's less than zero just make it value of one so when the person first loads up the game the car can go round okay because if it's got zero grip it'll just stop and the people think there's something wrong with your game okay then what I've done here is I said okay the slider value the slider on our screen this value over here front grips right there is equal to the value that's come out of um, player prefs, all right? So people can kind of say, oh yeah, that's what I left the slider, all right? Now we need to actually change the value in the colliders over here to to the value that's saved in player prefs. So we do that using this little function here called value change check front grip. And <coughs> it's this bit. So I put like front wheels, value change check front grip. So grip front is equal to the slider value. We need to access the wheel friction curve. And then the forward friction. And then set the stiffness to whatever value is currently at, at front grip, which is the slider value. And we do the same for the right wheel. When we've done that, we just save that value, that new value of grip front into player prefs. And that's all that does. Okay. The rear wheel is exactly the same. Okay. Except here I've called it grip rear. If it's if it's less than 0 0.5, make it one. Set up the slider to its current value and set up the wheels. Alright, exactly the same. Okay. It correlates to this one here. Alright. So it's pretty straightforward. Now, I want to just at this point mention some something about well, how do we know if 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 the players change the slider or not? How do we know that? You know, I can't see anything in this script which is going to tell us whether the, whether we've got a new value on the slider. Well, the answer is you could do it a couple of ways. You could do it in you know you could do it in you uh, update or you could set a co-routine up to compare values to see if there's any difference in values and if so, then run a function, right? But what I like to do is set up something called a listener. So down here on about line 150, you'll see this thing here called front wheels, grip front slider, uh, on value change that listener. And then if, if there is a change, then, then go and run this function value change check front grip, the one that we were just looking at. So this listener, what it does, it listens. So in the start we say, hey, we're going to set up something that's going to listen to any value changes in the slider. And if there are any ch changes, then run the function run this function to change the grip to whatever values in the slider and that's all they do all right good 
so that's what um, listeners do and that's why we've used one in here now obviously because we've got about 10 of more about 10 different things we're going to change on these wheels we don't want to like fill up update with loads and loads and loads and loads of functions listening for changes so it's far easier just to say hey you know if we if if one of them moves let's do something about it well, we don't need to monitor them all, all the time okay great okay so that's what's car setup scripts all about and we just drag in our hubs and our sliders and we are ready to rock and roll okay so if we just check that these things are working quick checks quick checks that you can make first of all hover your slider go hit tire and see if the slider's working over here yeah we can see it working right okay and then again we can do the rear slider is that working yep that's working sliders are working fine okay what about the wheels well let's grab the two front wheels and move the front slider yep this value over here is working so that's correct and same for the rear okay we'll move that and that's working as well right so what we'll do is we'll put our sliders at the end okay right up the end there yeah uh, 1.4s and yeah, 1.4 is all over the place, so let's just make these a bit different. So, just, so as you can see, they are working independently. So we've got a 1.2 and 1.4. Let's see if it remembers it. Okay. Alright, so at the front we've got 1.2, that's saved it, that's correct. And the rear is 1.4, that's saved. If we come in here, our sliders are where we left them. So it's perfect, great. All right, thanks very much. So that's how to um, that's how to do your your front and your rear grip, and I hope it's useful and that you've learned something. And in the next video, we're going to start looking at this chassis, okay? Um, and please subscribe, and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.